Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Borden Show. And it's a late night tonight, but I do have something here that I've been willing to try for a while. But it's only a matter of time till I have to eat the Sistraman for the 400. It's being shipped. I don't know exactly where it is. It might be overseas or still in Europe or maybe coming here. But it's on the way. So in the meantime, like I said, I'll be doing the hot and spicy, and I'll be doing some fishy type things, just to maybe try and train, even though it might be pointless and worthless, but we'll see. But <clears throat> tonight, I have a late for work tincture. So late for work is a awesome channel. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. They do uh, hot and spicy challenges. They do... Um, Eating challenges, like huge soda chugs and other weird kind of thing chugs and all kinds of interesting kind of combination challenges. Some eating and drinking things together, some eating massive amounts. But late for work, they've done some of their own like tinctures and kind of challenge things. So this one is, um, <clears throat> this one also is sent to me by Pyro Pipple. Um, I've tried two of their tinctures before, Lucy Juice, that one tasted good, and 23, which tastes very peppery, that one was a little hotter. So I'm going to try the Late for Work, Late for Work tincture. So, <clears throat> see how hot this is? Let's see what this smells like. So this one too kind of smells like the 23, just uh, very peppery. The Lucy Juice one tasted really good, but the other two were kind of just peppery and hot, so... I have this set. A lot of people just try a few drops. Some people do a full rabbi. I like to do the one milliliter dropper. So almost the full thing. So I'm going to let this go. And I'll let you know how the late for work standard tincture is. If it's hot or tasty or a combination of the two. Some are just all hot and don't taste very good. Some are tasty. We'll see how much this one is. Oh my eye! Oh! Did you really get in your eye? Did you get in your eye? Oh, I got some in my eye. Oh, it splattered in my eye. My eye ah. Oh, I got a drop in my eye. Not the first time. Not the first time. My eyes have actually gained some tolerance too from getting a lot of warm stuff in my eyes over the days. So actually it's recovering pretty well already too. As well as my mouth. Oh. Ah. Um. You might have to take another Robbie because you probably don't even realize how hot it's going to be because you're so dry. <laughs> no, um. Tastes hot peppery. Tastes similar to the 23. I don't know if my tolerance is just good after the mac and cheese thing. Didn't seem quite as hot as the 23. Maybe a tad less. But it's hard to say because my tolerance got pretty high and I got some in my eyes. So I was kind of focused on that. Uh, is it red or what? Doesn't really hurt too bad anymore. Feels a little weird. But yeah, I would give it obviously a 10 for an average person. 2 to 3, 2.5 heat. Uh, chili head. Um, I don't know, flavor might be a slight bit better than 23. It may be not quite as hot. It's really hard to tell. Very similar. I'd almost have to do one and one sometime maybe i'll do a comparison of the three pull up the lucy juice 23 i'm not late for work for late for work and kind of read them maybe sometime too for a video but uh i'm recovered that was interesting had a little splatter when i did the re it kind of sucked it back and splattered it out and got one on my face and one in my eye so but i survived it 
After a while, that's an interesting thing about being a chili head. My, uh, some people wear gloves when they do hot challenges. Now my hands have kind of become immune to touching hot things, like spicy hot things, and, uh, obviously my body has tolerance, and my eyes from touching my eyes accidentally. I did that yesterday to, uh, what was I doing? There's something during the day just on my own time. I was eating something hot and spicy because I did fish last night, but I ate something else hot and spicy yesterday. Oh, I know what it was. It was some Diablo hot sauce I had on some tacos earlier in the day, and I didn't wash my hands after eating, and I kind of did the eye rub thing too, and got a little burn too. So I mean, my eyes are kind of used to too. Now I'm pretty much fully recovered, but... Good tincture. Uh, tinctures are always good, people tell you, and I've told you before. But tinctures are good for building up tolerance without getting totally wiped out. I mean, there's a good burn in my throat and mouth yet. Good tongue burn. But yeah, good way to train without wiping out your stomach, like some of the challenges. So anyway, stay tuned. As soon as that stinky fish, this drama comes in, it's my day of reckoning. And anyway, have a good rest of your weekend, and we will see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.